Hello friends, Tony here. Welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can or uh, how to implement the social light on uh, Laravel project on Laravel 12. How, and I'm going to use the Google and uh, GitHub. So how to authenticate in your project with Google or GitHub. Now it's the same also for X and for uh, other providers. So you can read on the documentation. So we have Facebook, X, LinkedIn, Google, GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket and Slack. We need to require this package from the Laravel, so the Laravel slash socialite, and also we need to add on the services PHP, the GitHub. Here we have an example for GitHub, what, but it's the same also for other providers. So we need to get the client ID and client secret from the GitHub or Google. Now, I'm not going to show you how you can do that because I think you can do it yourself. So you need to go on GitHub, for example, you can go on the developer settings and create an application there and get the client ID and client secret. On Google, you can go on the console, cloud, Google, and also there you need to create an application and get the client ID and client secret. So let's create a, an application and start and work with that. Here, I'm going to say Laravel new. And let's name it a social light. You can name it what you like. I'm going to use a live wire, but it's the same. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's also copy this because we need to go on the config slash services.php and pass this one. Now let's see if the project is created. We can use uh, the vibe coding but i think it's going to take us more time using vibe coding than just created by ourselves so let's see the, the social light and in this tab i'm going to just run the composer run dev and in this one let's see the first the social light and first i'm going to open the project with a vs code so let's open the services here inside the config scroll down and after the slack i'm going to add the github and let me just indent this okay and copy and paste for google because i'm going to add also a google provider client id is going to be not github here but google for this one and we need to specify the callback url so the callback url for the github is going to be localhost 8000 uh, not login but out github callback and here also let's change for the google to be out google callback now we added this we need to add the github have client ID and GitHub client secret on the .env file and client Google client ID and client secret on the .env here. Also, I'm going to change the DB connection from SQLite to be Postgres, and here we need to change also the port to be five four three two. The database of the is Laravel because I have created one database on the Postgres and the username is not root but is Postgres. I think we are okay. So also here you need to add the client ID, client secret for Google and GitHub. I'm going to add behind the scenes. Okay. Now let's open the Laravel documentation and yeah, you can read here. We need to register routes. So route get out redirect and out callback. And on redirect, we just need to say socialite driver. Pass in the driver here. In this case, we have GitHub example. Redirect and for the callback, we have to get the user from this provider. And then, uh, for example, update or create. We are going to see if the user exists with on the with github id to be this github user id if that exists okay we're going to update otherwise we're going to create a new user pass in the name email github token and github refresh token now the github id 
token and the refresh token uh, we don't have in the user's migration we are going to update we need to update the user migration and also when we create the user we need to provide also the password because the password is not null and uh, yeah we can say for example password uh, something automatically generated or we can make a password to be nullable i'm going to make nullable so let's open we we'll open the terminal and uh, yeah we have an ex an error here so let's around the artisan optimize clear and then artisan migrate fresh okay and now let's see let's stop and run the composer run dev okay now let's say here artisan make migration i'm going to say add provider to user stable okay and now let's open the add underscore provider to user stable and here we are going to say uh first add the provider not provider just provider id is going to be after the password then i'm going to add the provider a token and a refresh token and yeah we need also to drop the columns so provider id provider provider token we can say also provider name here if you want to be more specific so name and also name here and i think we are good let's also change the password to be nullable okay now we need also to add them on the user model on the billable so let's open the user model and here let's add the provider id name token and also the provider token and refresh token on the hidden here and i think we are okay now on the terminal run artisan migrate fresh now if i open the users go to structure we have here the provider id provider name token and the early fresh token good right now we don't have any users but okay now let's create controllers because we need to register the routes and we are not going to work with the callback here but create the controllers and i'm going to create two controllers invocable you can create one and create two methods on that controller but i prefer to work with the invocable controllers so let's open the terminal and say here artisan make controller and i'm going to name it provider redirect controller one and the second is going to be provider callback controller uh, both of them i have added in the social light directory okay now let's open the web routes and register the routes here so right here i'm going to say route get and this one is going to be out slash provider slash redirect and here we are going to add the provider redirect controller class and yeah let's give it also a name to be auth redirect and we can add also the callback so auth get route get auth provider callback and remove this because we need to import the controller so let's import the controller and the name is auth callback okay we registered the routes now let's open this provider redirect here we need to accept the provider which is a string and not a request so let's remove the request from here and say we're going to accept a string send provider and let's see if the yeah this is the same we have on laravel documentation but i'm not going to do something like this because we are working with uh, 
only Google and GitHub. First, I'm going to check. So let's check if it's not in array, the provider, GitHub or Google. We can say abort or we can return uh, redirect to the route login and we can redirect with with errors so for example provider invalid provider or something like this but if we have if the provider is google or github we are going to say not return i'm going to use try and in that case we're going to return the socialite driver provider redirect or cuts if we have an error we're going to cut and leave it the ai yeah we need to import the socialite here and uh, why we have Socialite, not illuminate support facades and i think we have not uh, installed the package so let's copy this and paste it right here okay Yeah, now the error is gone. Okay, so first we check here if it's not in the array uh, GitHub or Google, we're in the redirect with errors provider invalid provider. Otherwise, we're going to try and return the social light driver provider redirect. But if we have an error from this, we're going to say uh, provider not invalid provider but i'm going to say uh yeah something went wrong and i think we are okay here let's uh let's close this also we have here the exception so you can get the message from the exception but i'm going to leave it like this now let's close and let's open the provider callback and also let's open the google chrome because we have examples here so on the callback, we need to get the user from that provider and then do something like this. So I'm going to copy this, open the controller, and I'm going to paste that in. Here, the same thing, we are going to accept a string dollar sign provider. And here, we're going to use that dollar sign provider. We need to import the yeah let's use the ai to import the user out and facade from the level socialite facades okay here now we say not github user yeah we can say github user but i'm going to say social user because we have here we are working with uh, github or google and we want to change also this one this one here and this one here that be provider id provider token and i'm going to add also the provider name but not here the provider name is going to be right here so first we're going to check if that user exists on the with provider id and provider name we're going to check if that is not exist we're going to create passing this otherwise I, we're going to just update with a name email provider token and a refresh token then out login and redirect to the dashboard but also we need to check if the provider is either google or github so let's do the same thing say if is not in the array provider github or google return to the route login with errors invalid provider and i think we are okay we can just open the login blade or register and scroll down and i'm going to copy this paste it right here instead of using dot 
don't have an account we can say here uh let's say something else let's say register or login with login with here is google and out redirect pass in your google provider or add another link for the github let's remove this while navigate from both of them and let's open the project with say localhost 8000 and here's the project let's go to login and yeah one more time i don't have any users in this one so let's say login with google or github now for design you can work but i just wanted to show here an example and we redirect to the dashboard log out and let's try with a github and we are logged in with github also we can go to settings now here we need to check if we are logged in with the provider either google or github we cannot update the email but this is for another topic okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much